Yo, what's good, everyone? I'm your host, Matt Diazbal, and welcome to Diazbal Reactions. Thanks for coming on by. If you're new, really, really, really thank you. And if you're an old subscriber and you're back, I really appreciate this. Thanks for coming on back. Uh, today, we're checking out the newest Dark Throne song, Black Dawn Affiliation. Now, a little bit about this band is uh, they're one of the biggest, if not, I don't say most popular, but they're definitely one of the biggest names in black metal. And for those who don't know, black metal is a type of distorted, really uh, unaccessible, noisy music that came out from, um, I guess, the Sweden, Scandinavian, Nor Norway area, area back in the 80s to push against the more the more overly produced metal songs at, out at the time. And over time, black metal has gained a lot of uh, following in terms of like craziness and everything. And the music itself can be very, very polarizing in terms of like either sounding really, really redundant and just, there's not too much growth in the, in the genre, I feel like. Either you sound the same like you always have before all the previous bands or you take it in another direction where it gets away from black metal. It's a very, very, uh, I don't say sensitive genre, but it can, it's not, it's not an easy genre for sure. It's yeah. Uh, it's not easy as some people might say being bad because it sounds like bad recordings, but there is some talent involved in it. So with that being said, uh, Dark Throne is one of these black metal bands I've always liked. So let's get into this uh, reaction. I'm really liking the guitar, like how it's being played here. The tuning on is pretty nice and everything, but just the overall like style of the guitar, it's very catchy. Uh, vocals are very, 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 uh, uh, I won't say underwhelming, they're just very like low, but I kind of like them. Like, I think most people might not like this if they've never heard of black metal stuff, but like, it's an acquired taste for sure. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to say, like, it sounds like they're, I mean, they've been around since, like, the 80s and everything. It feels like they're channeling that old style, but, like, still keeping it kind of fresh, being so, like, 30-plus years later. Like, it's really weird. It's, like, a good meshing of, like, I think it's old-sounding production-ish, but with, like, uh, really good catchy uh, riffs and playing and everything. And this isn't even, I would say some people wouldn't even consider, I think, Dark Throne as black metal. Like, it's like very light black metal, I feel like, compared to some other stuff that's just pure, just noise at best to describe. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> Yeah. 
I would say it's getting to the point in the song where it, there's a lot of repetition. Uh, I don't know if they're going to keep doing with the same riffs and everything and or change it up a little bit. Um, very mixed middle of the road. It can either go really eh or it can still be a pretty good song. I'm also really loving the throwback like 80s style video. It's pretty dope. I will say too, the pacing's really good in the song because most of the song's already done, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long. So for a six minute song, they're doing a pretty good job of pacing things out. Yeah, a uh, new song from Dark Throne. Sounds really good. I like, like I said, the pacing's really good. The guitar work is very mesmerizing. The drums sound really good. It's a pretty, like I, like I said, it's not like a black, black metal song, but it's in the realm of black metal. Kind of feels more doomy than anything. Um, but yeah, overall, I like it a lot. Um, there's some other Dark Throne tracks I like more, but for what they're putting out now, for 30 plus years in the year in a very niche genre. Pretty good, guys. All right, links down below. Check out Dark Throne. I'm Matt Diazbo. Thanks for coming on by and see you later. Bye.